Hello dear children, welcome back to your online EDS class. Children, we have completed first three lessons from semester 2. Hope all of you have understood each and every lesson very well. Then tell me the name of uh, our first lesson. Yes, the living and non-living things. In that lesson we have discussed about the characteristics of living things. Very good. Then what was our second lesson? Yes, the things which we get from nature. We have discussed about the things which we get from plants, animals and earth in that lesson. And the third lesson was the human body. In our third lesson we have discussed about different organ systems which are present in our body. So hope all of you have studied these three lessons very well and reading the textbook. Children, today we are going to discuss an activity lesson. Our fifth lesson, Transport and Communication. We all like to travel different places, isn't it? Do you like? Yes. Let's discuss about transport. How do we travel from one place to another place? We use different types of vehicles to travel from one place to another. Isn't it? Children, what is meant by transport? Transport means the movement of people or things from one place to another. So the vehicles used for transporting people or goods from one place to another are called means of transport. Early humans would have seen logs rolling down a hill. They must have been struck with the idea that things are easier to move from place to place if they are rolled rather than pushed or pulled. They must have cut trees into logs and placed things to be moved like an animal they have hunted on the logs so that they could move it easily. Then they learned to make wheels. This was the first revolution in transport. The invention of the axle further improved transportation. The first cart was pulled by the early humans. They later started using animals to do the same. Early humans used drafts or small boats carved out of trees to transport goods over water. Then they learned to use the power of the wind so that they could move faster on water. The invention of the steam engine revolutionized transport. Humans used steam engines to power trains and ships to transport goods and people across land and water. They could now move large loads quickly across great distances. Modern means of transport are mainly powered by diesel and electricity. So children, people and goods can be transported by water, land and air. So the water transport, the air transport and the land transport are the three mode of transport. So today we are going to discuss about these three mode of transport in detail. Okay, first we will discuss about land transport mean by land transport? Yes, land transport is the transport of people and goods by land. Roadways and railways are used in land transport. So children, roadways and railways are used in land transport, isn't it? Travelling through a road is the very easiest way to travel from one place to another. And it also enables the door-to-door -door delivery of things. Bicycle, car, bus, truck. These all are some examples for means of road transport. 
Bicycles are a cheap means of transport. They do not pollute the environment. Hence, they are environment friendly. They are used by many people in the cities and villages in India. Buses are a common means of transport in India. They can carry many passengers at a time. They connect villages to cities. They also connect places within a city. Cycle rickshaws and auto rickshaws are also used to transport people. In Indian villages, people also travel by bullock carts and tractors. Trucks, lorries and tempos are used to transport goods. Railways A train moves on a railway track. It carries a large number of people and goods over long distances. It is not a very expensive means of transport. India has one of the largest networks of railways in the world. Durando, Shadabdi, Tejas and Rajdhani are some of the fastest trains running between cities in India. Local trains are very important in places like Mumbai. They help people travel within the city. Some Indian cities like Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, Bengaluru, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Lucknow, Kochi and Gurugram now have the metro rail. Metro trains run on ground and over ground railway lines and link different parts of the city. In Kolkata, people also travel by trams. Next is water transport. Water transport is the oldest and cheapest mode of transport. Boat, ship, steamers are mode of water transport. Boats are used by people to cross rivers. Ships carry people and heavy goods across seas and oceans. They halt at ports. Then the last one, air transport. Air transport is the most modern mode of transport. And it is also the fastest and most expensive. Aeroplane, helicopters are mode of air transport. Aeroplanes fly from airports. They can cover long distances in a very short time. So most people traveling from one country to another use aeroplanes. The larger aeroplanes can carry hundreds of passengers at a time. Helicopters are used mainly for military purposes and to send food, clothes and medicines to places affected by floods or earthquakes. They are also used to reach places that cannot be reached by buses, trains or aeroplanes, highly mountainous regions. How do we choose means of transport? There are several means of transport. When we plan to travel, our choice of transport depends on many factors. First one, where we want to go. That means we use air or water transport to reach places that cannot be reached by road. On the other hand, we can reach some places only by road. Then second point, what is the distance to be travelled? We travel by trains or aeroplanes when we need to reach distant places within a country. When we have go to another country or cross oceans, we travel by aeroplanes or ships. Third point, how much time we have? We travel by a faster means of transport like an aeroplane if we need to reach a place urgently. Then the last point, how much money we can spend? We choose a cheaper means of transport like a bus or a train rather than an aeroplane if we have less money to spend. So children, we are discussing lesson 5, transport and communication. Today we have discussed about different mode of transport. Hope all of you have understood today's topic very well. 
in our next class we are going to discuss about communication okay so this is an activity lesson you need not study this lesson for your exam but you have to read the lesson okay so we'll meet in the next session until then take care and goodbye